why you are praising God. Some of you are standing there. Not yet had But you know what you will tell them. Break it down. No be say I they praise. My God I they praise. Oh. No be say I they praise. My God I they praise. Oh. No be say I they praise. My God I they praise. Oh. No be say I they praise. Break it down. You didn't get me. I said, how you are praising God. This your neighbor is looking at you. That ah, what have you seen? But this is what he will tell you. Tell him. No be sad the grace. My God at the praise. No be sad the grace. My God at the praise. No be sad the grace. My God at the praise. No be sad the grace. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. Oh, supernatural speed. In this prophetic season of supernatural speed, you will always be unstoppable. Amen. I once again welcome you all to today's service. You are welcome to New Spring Assemblies of God. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, you are welcome to New Spring Assemblies of God. Here is where we believe our maker worship with us each and every day. And in this house, we believe that Jesus is Lord and is Lord over all the nation. And one thing we strongly believe in is that our Lord and Master Jesus is the owner and the builder of this great commission. Church, let's acknowledge the owner and builder of this great commission. Again, let's appreciate our father and mother in the Lord, Pastor and Lady Pastor Bedu Chen Chen Papa, I thank you for this opportunity to serve. On this covenant day of academic breakthrough service, we want to lift a prayer of expectation. I believe this morning you came here with an expectation. And one thing I can assure you is that there's going to be a lift and a shift on all expectations this morning. Amen. Our scripture will be taken from Genesis chapter 26, the verse 12 to 14. Genesis chapter 26, the verse 12 to 14. And I read, Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year and hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. The verse 13. And the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possession of flocks and possession of heads and great store of servants. And the Philistines envied him. So when we stand to pray, we'll be praying in this direction. We say, Father, as we send the light, let there be no more delay in the lives of your people. Give us speedy breakthroughs in academics and businesses in the name of Jesus. Kindly let's be on our feet as you aggressively repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father, Father, as we send the light, as we send the light, let there be no more delay. Let there be no more delay in the lives of your people, 
in the lives of your people. Give us speedy breakthroughs. Give us speedy breakthroughs in academics and businesses in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, as we send the light, let there be no more delay. Let there be no more delay in the lives of your people. Give us speedy breakthroughs in academics and businesses in the name of Jesus. People of God begin to speak in the language of the Spirit. Rada da do sha na me, ora paya bara bo sha da bara bara bo sha. Ran tore bara bo sha da bara bo sha. Ran tore bara bara bo sha. Father, on this covenant day of miracle and breakthrough services, we pray that you give us speedy breakthroughs. Father, speedy breakthroughs. On this academic conference, Father, give us speedy breakthroughs. Father, speedy breakthroughs. Ran tore bara bo sha da bara bo sha. Ora da bara bo sha na me na me na mo. Father, give us speedy breakthroughs. Father, give us speedy breakthroughs. People of God, begin to thank God for an answered prayer. Father, we thank you for answering our prayer this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. You can resume your seat. Supernatural speed. Oh, supernatural speed. Church, shall we appreciate the owner and builder of this great ministry, our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. And let us acknowledge our Father and Mother in the Lord, Pastor and Mrs. Bedrich and Chenhini. Oh, you can do it better unto our Father. Thank you for this opportunity to serve. Kindly take note of the following announcements. One. Kindly follow all our social media handles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. All at Newspring AG. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Newspring AG. Remember to like and share our posts. Two, Papa admonishes that we all listen to the messages on podcasts. And you can do this by downloading any podcast app and search for Language of Hope. All bed with Chen Chen Hine, and then you select the message you want to listen to. Three, home sale. The church is still embarking on operation lead and care for herself. It is the mandate of the church to ensure that everyone belongs to herself. So if you don't belong to herself, Pastor, please remember to keep the washroom clean after using it at all times. Six, please be reminded of the missions box outside the auditorium. Kindly donate any amount to help the church propagate the gospel and reach out to souls. God bless you for giving. Seven, we are still being reminded of our commission to win and establish one soul every month. It is the duty of every member to establish 12 souls at the end of the year. Eight, kindly note, this is from the protocol department. After Papa Mount, all other movements must cease in order not to distract service. No member should reserve a seat for anyone. It is the duty of the protocol to do so. All members should comply with the protocol when assigned to a seat. All phones must be put on silent during service. Please note, anyone interested in joining the protocol department should please see Pastor Elvis or LP Abigail or any of the protocol after service. Please note, anyone looking for a job should please leave their CVs at the information desk downstairs or anyone with a testimony should record their testimonies at the testimony desk or send it through WhatsApp on 050-77-16159. I repeat, 050-77-16159. 16159. 10. Foundation school continues after church for 30 minutes. Please note, the children ministry is having a prayer Zoom meeting tonight with our father, Pastor Bedri Chenchenhini, at exactly 7 p.m. Parents are entreated to join in as we pray for our kids. The link will be shared on the WhatsApp page. God bless you all for coming to church and enjoy the rest of the service. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. Someone is going to be unstoppable after this service. Amen. 
Church, once again, let us appreciate the owner and builder of this great ministry, our Lord and Master Jesus Christ. Let us also appreciate our father and mother and the Lord, Pastor and Mrs. Bedu Chenchehene. God bless you, Papa. God bless you, Mama. On this covenant day of academic breakthrough service, we'd like to take a couple of documented testimonies. Our first testimony is from our sister, Esther. Our sister says there was a time she was having a conversation with our father. And in that conversation, our father prophesied to her about her menstrual disorder and womb fertility being restored. Papa then gave her a direction to follow concerning her menstrual cycle, which she did two weeks ago. God being so good, our sister says her menstrual flow has been restored, and our sister wants to thank God for supernatural healing. Our second testimony is from our sister, Mamea. Our sister says at the beginning of her tertiary education, her GPA was about 1.01, after her first academic year and had to defer her course. She said her lecturer advised her to withdraw and reapply to start level 100 again. But our sister says because of shame, she decided to continue regardless. Then again, level 200 ended and just like level 100, a GPA of 1.01. Then again, in level 300, our sister says she was encouraged to sow a seed of 100 Ghana cities and with faith prayed and continued taking her academics seriously. To God be the glory, our sister says, her GPA increased within a year and she has completed with a second class. Indeed, this can only be God. Our third testimony is from our sister Felicity. Our sister says that in the month of September last year, she received information from her previous church that a school in the USA called University of Virgin Islands were bringing representatives to Ghana in search of potential students. So our sister took the opportunity and went through the application process. However, she never got a feedback from the school. In December, our sister joined the church and heard one of our father's teachings concerning tithings and offerings. She decided to engage in this as she confessed that she wasn't paying tithes in her previous church. Fast forward to March, our sister says she hadn't gotten any feedback from the school and even followed up from her other friends who had also turned in their applications. They all hadn't heard from the school and others had even forgotten about it. Our sister says she spoke to our, fa our father concerning it and he told her that it was done. Her father sent her some money just Thursday and sent, she sent her tithe immediately out of that money she received. On Friday, she decided to check her mail and to her surprise, she had received an acceptance letter from the university. Our sister says she is the only one who got accepted amongst her colleagues. God be the glory. Our final testimony is from our sister Nanaya. She says that the tithe she paid last Sunday has done something miraculous for her. She was owing school fees and had used the fees to help some people as well as pay for a seat for the Oil of Speed conference in hopes that gathered 600 cities out of 2,400 cities and decided to take out a tithe of 100 cities to pay last Sunday. According to our sister, one morning shortly after paying her tithe, she, she miraculously received money that she was not expecting. And this money was more than enough to cover for her school fees. Our sister is thanking God for the supernatural miracle. I pray that even as you are clapping, may your testimony locate you today. Academic excellence is locating someone today. Scholarship opportunities is locating someone today. I pray that whatever you are trusting God for, he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you somebody begin to speak in other tongues I have an inheritance and I will enjoy whatever that you see you must speak it with your mouth somebody shout out I will, I will enjoy I will enjoy yeah 
say another one. This is the year that the Lord has made. I ain't and I ain't. Lord, you go ahead of me. This year, you are aligning everything. This year, there's a falling in place for me. This year, oh, the land will you for me. I say, this year, Lord, you go ahead of me. This year, you are aligning everything. Stop falling the place for me. Oh, 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 oh. This year, Lord, you had a I walk in what God has for me. I recover everything. I walk in so tough so because Christ paid.
Y llorar Corazón me Today you are recovering everything You have lost You are recovering everything You have lost I want You taught I'll be to right Because Christ prayed for you And you will walk in it Because Christ prayed for you And you will walk Father, we thank you. Say, Father, we adore your name. We thank you for what you have done in our lives. We will continue thanking you and blessing your name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen and amen. What a glorious morning. I want you to put your hands together. Let's appreciate the owner and builder of this house. Our Lord and Master Jesus, the owner and builder of this house. Not unto me, but unto him. The King Eternal, unto him. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. How many people are ready for what the Lord is about to do this morning? There's something amazing that the Lord is going to do in the lives of his people. Their minds cannot understand. Just as some of the testimonies that they were sharing. Mind-blowing testimonies. Glory be to God. I want to turn to your neighbor standing beside you and welcome you more here to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. We thank God for another time like this. I want to sit on the heads of your enemies. Scratch their heads. Hallelujah. I learned one of our mothers is in the house. Atinana. One of my mothers is in the house. If she's here. Wow. Let's put our hands together for <laughs> Mama Akwaba. God bless you, Pa, for coming. It's one of the great mothers that the Lord has blessed me with. And today have been it's a surprise. This is a sign that your academic breakthrough has been open to you. <laughs> she used to be former headmistress of KG. How many KG students are here? Not this KG I'm talking about. I'm talking about Kumasi girls. Where are they? Give me, I know many of them here. Where's Jenny Bib and all the Belinda Dems and all that. Hallelujah. I'm not sure you met our mother. And it's a prophetic indication that somebody's Breakthrough has opened to him or her this morning. Amen. amen and amen. amen. We thank God for another time like this. Quickly, I want to share a message I've entitled, God is interested in your academics. <laughs> what a lovely thing to share with you. God is interested in your academics. Someone will say, man of God, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm done with school and everything, or I'm, I don't have anything to do with school. Just follow Whatever I'm going to share with you is not only something for students. Glory be to God. Now, understand something that whoever you can be is predicated on the mind. When the mind is weak, your body will be weak. When the mind is not working, nothing will work in your life. So when we are talking about the mind, it's, it's something very, very important to every being. We live in a world where it doesn't matter where you find yourself. You can be in prison. You can be crippled. You can be disabled. You can be blind. They will allow you to cast your vote. Politicians here, they will tell me, Nalai, prison, they allow them to cast vote during the election. When you are crippled, they allow you. But when you are mad, they will not allow you. It means that when the mind is not working, you are not considered to be a human being. Glory be to God. 
So God is interested in your academics. Now understand that originally men were created in the image of God. That was how we were created. God created us in his own image. Huh? And the way you were doing it, it looks like you were prompting me about something. It's not the usual face you were using. Please, use the usual face. Uh -huh. uh, give me, yesterday I saw this one has a sexy face, but it's a criminal. Hey. It's a secret. I can't show, I can't share it here. At the right time. I told him that I was waiting during his wedding, then I'll release this carpet. But it's keeping long. I can't I can't hold. God can hold. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Glory be to God. So give me the original fees. Eh? As I stand here, yeah, I'm your papa. I'm not your wife. Uh -huh. So give me the papa fees. If it, else it will confuse me. Uh, I need to concentrate on the word. Amen and amen. She is also a student. So pay attention and receive your, your destiny. Here you can't receive anything. When I stand here, you can't. The only thing you can receive is what God has given to me. I'm giving to you. Amen and amen. <laughs> Tell the one sitting beside you, pay attention and receive. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That is why every man of God, you need to get your own. Ah, your own. So I'm speaking to all the men of God in the house. Hurry up and get your own and be free. Pastor Nana have his own. Um, or Benjios have his own. Uh, Pastor Bismarck have his own. So the roll call will continue. Continue. Continue and pass to me here. Oh Lord, oh son, I was here 30 years ago. What does it do? Glory be to God. Let me concentrate and preach my message. Our time is fast spent. Hallelujah. So I was saying that originally, man was created in the likeness and in the image of God. Our original nature was the nature of God. The very nature of God. Because in the beginning when God had wanted to create it, he said, let us create man in my own image. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 27. He said, let us create man in my own image and likeness. That means that we were not different from God. We were the same as God. We carried the same nature as God. So that is why we realized that at the beginning of creation, Adam was very intellectual. Adam was intellectually sound. He was an intellectual gigano. Because God gave him that opportunity. After God creating Adam, he wanted to test his intellectual ability, whether it's working or not. So he gave Adam the opportunity to name all the animals he has created. And Adam began. The innumerable animals he began to name. When he see this one, he said, This one will be called Ochin. This one will be called monkey. This one will be called zebra. This one will be called lion. This one will be called all that. And he began to name them. Without the assistance or the help of anyone, he named them. Now, according to what Atlas, they say that there are 33,000 and over fishes in the sea. Yeah. Yeah. And Adam was able to name them all without missing one. Without missing one. A girlfriend you have dated for five years. Sometimes you miss the name. Adjua, you call her Kwekia. Name all the 33,000. Never miss any of them. Tilapia, Tilapia, Poku, Poku, Pola, Pola. He gave all the names. <laughs> and all oh, what Otopos, Fitopos, Philatos. When you go into the sea, you find so many of them. He named them all. <laughs> and you are saying, come on, come on, this thing. You are saying you can't put it in your head. You don't know your original nature. I came here with a prophetic word. Every student here, and anyone who has been ordained, created with a brain, I command that brain to start working right now in the name of Jesus. Nothing will be too huge for the mind to contain. It will carry it all. So Adam, we realized that he had a superior intelligence. A creative mind. 
But something happened along the line. Along the line, something happened. What happened? What happened was that when Adam began to sin, the mind was altered. The brain was altered. Why am I saying this? According to Romans chapter 3 verse 23, he said, we all have sinned and we have fallen short of the glory of God. So right from that time, there was a fall. There was something wrong with the brain. Something was affected in the brain. Glory be to God. Something went wrong. So from that time, he was not supernaturally intelligent. He used to be. Because he has fallen from that glory. Understand the fall of Adam also affected him mentally. So I can tell you that the moment he fell, he fell from his original place of intelligence. But God did not leave him there. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. How we go to something was not working. The brain began to experience a shutdown. Romans 6 23. Romans 6 23. The brain it said, for the wages of sin is what? Death. But the gift of God is what? Eternal life in Christ Jesus. So right from that point where Adam began to sin, the mind was experiencing death in every facet. It was no more working. The conjunction was not working. The allies in the brain was not working. The just people were, everything was not working. It was dead. It was dead. I came here to announce to somebody anything that is not working in the brain I command it to rise down in the name of Jesus. I said whatever that has affected the function of your brain I command it to rise now in the name of Jesus. So it was not working. Something was wrong. Somebody was saying oh how did we know that the brain was not working. We got to know the brain was not working after the next generation that came after Adam, we realized that all oh, the next generation, they were mad people. Mad! How did I get to know? Genesis chapter 19 verse 4 to 5. We realized that now the brain is no more working. So a lady wants to sleep with a lady. A man wants to sleep with a man. That was when we got to know the next generation is mad. So, so foolishness. Foolishness! We've got to know that something has went wrong in the brain. How come a man that was created in the same likeness and image, where did you see God sleeping with man? Where? From that time we realized, no, 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 they have shifted from their image and their nature. When lesbianism trumu, trumu began now, then. So I can also say for a fact that there are still mad people in this generation. Even some of them are trying to enter church. Just as I keep telling you, anybody I will catch with my prophetic eye, doing lele lele and gunu gunu, the way I go slap you for this house, eh? You no go, you no go, you no go. As not I'm slapping you for you to leave. I'm slapping you for you to stay. Then I will give you work to do. You will work for the, with the sanctuary keepers from Monday to Sunday, so that you don't get time to go and do. That mad, mad, mad things. But I pray for anybody here under the sound of my voice. Anything that has caused you to go awkward and the opposite way of life. I pray may God have mercy. Say, may God have mercy. Glory be to God. So God did not just look at man just like that. But God did. That is the good news. Say the good news. The mind was not just left in that state. God did something about it. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23. God did something about it. God did something. And that is the good news of the church. And that is the good news for somebody here. First Thessalonians. He said now may the God of peace himself sanctify you what? Completely. And may your whole spirit. Now watch this here. May your whole what? Spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus. The mind happens to be an aspect of the soul. So he said, may your spirit, soul and body be made perfect. So he worked on the mind. 
He gave us a new brain, fresh brain, fresh mind. That mind that was corrupted, that mind that was not working, God stepped into the sea and he said, let me replace the new mind. I pray for somebody here this morning. Receive a fresh brain. Receive a fresh mind. May your mind be renewed. May your mind be restarted in the name of Jesus. So God did something about it by giving us a new brain. That is why, listen, the church must not be spiritually loaded and mentally bankrupt. It's wrong. Some people claim that we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are I serve God, I serve God. A very powerful lady, powerful woman who can pray, praise the Lord. Yes, still when it comes to the brain, it's bankrupt. It's wrong. It's against the will of God. It's against the word of God. So ladies here, let me speak to every lady here. Your mind must be loaded. Loaded. No lady is, is permitted to have an empty brain. Something must stay inside the mind. The mind must work. The mind must be what? Loaded. So God bless us with a new mind. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. So right from here, I want somebody to understand that you are carrying a new brain. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there is what? He is a new creation. All things have passed. The mind that anytime you are having an exam, it keeps scoring 20 over 50. That mind is no more. Say no more, no more, no more, no more. The mind that anytime we tell you something, you easily forget. That mind is no more. A new mind has been replaced. A fresh mind has been replaced. Why? According to the word of the Lord, he said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. I pray for somebody here. Receive a fresh and a new mind. Take it in the name of Jesus. So this generation must do better than the last generation. This generation must what? Do better than the last. You see, we can look to some people that walked in God's intelligence and wisdom like Daniel, like Solomon. They expressed superior intelligence and supernatural intelligence. And the church must emulate it and desire for it. Even we are supposed to do far beyond it. Not just like them, but far beyond them. Daniel chapter 5 verse 11 to 12. So when we are talking about some of these things, someone might think it's not possible. But it's possible. Men like you walk in superior intelligence and supernatural intelligence. And the church can never be lacking when it comes to intellectualism and intelligence, wisdom and understanding. He said, there is a man in your kingdom in whom is the spirit of what? The Holy God. And in the days of your father, light and understanding. That is why I love teaching Light brings understanding. It brings illumination. It clears darkness. Any darkness upon your mind, upon your whatever I decree and I declare, let that darkness give way for the light in the name of Jesus. Give the scripture back. Light and understanding and wisdom. Like the wisdom of the gods. Were found where? In him. And King Nebuchadnezzar, your father, your father the king, made him chief of the Medes. Magicians, astrologers, Chaldeans, and the soothsayers. This was Daniel, verse 12. In as much as an excellent word, spirit, knowledge, understanding, interpret, interpreting dreams, solving riddles, and explaining enigma were found in this Daniel. I pray that will be said of you. I said that will be said of you. It is so sad now, the generation we are living in, people don't boast about intellectual abilities and capabilities. When we were young, we pay so much attention. By the time you are growing, we see certain things as awkward. Gone are the days where we used to refer people that love books. Study. Now see how the trend is going. So, 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 so foolishness. The generation is following people that you see the next 30 minutes then they are disappointed everywhere going after sugar daddies and all that. This is how the world has turned into. But where are the professors in our generation? 
where are the intellectuals in our generation? Where are the ladies and the men with brains in our generation? I pray for this generation that we will rise with a supernatural intelligence and a superior intelligence. I mean that is you, that is you, that is you, that is you. That is you. Yeah. What are you talking about this? The lady doesn't understand. He's thinking about beauty. Beauty without brains is just like a chicken, a chicken in pepper soup. Where is your beauty when there is no brain? Jesus now become. We must desire for it and yearn for it that the mind will work. That's why every mind that is working. The fact that the person can talk and do it. You see, that is why sometimes people can do certain things and you wonder ah, why will he do such a thing? It's the only one thing the brain is working. It's not function. It's dead. It's dead. But look at Daniel. Such a man. Because of his intellectual ability, it set him apart from his contemporaries in politics and in education and every side. According to Bible, it said that Daniel was in government for 65 years non-stop. Because he operated at a level of mental capacity. 65 years. How many years does it take for somebody to be in politics or government? At least 15. But look at such a man. And I'm wondering at what point did he enter into politics or whatever. I pray for somebody here. That based on how you think and possess things. May you be put at your rightful place. In the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 11 verse 11. It talks about the fact that John the Baptist was the greatest. As surely I say to you, among these born of women, there has not risen one greater than John the Baptist. But he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. It means that in this our dispensation, there must be people that are greater than John the Baptist. In wisdom, in prayer life, in their, I mean, the, in their work with God, in every facet of their life, they must be great. There must not be anyone least in thinking, in anything. We must be what? Great. So, man of God, if this is how we have been created, and the good news is that a new mind has been given, how can we sharpen the mind? How can we sharpen the mind? Your business is not working because your brain is not working. Your business stops where your mind stops. So the mind must work. The mind is a propeller. Anything you see working, there is a great mind behind it. Propelling it. Else it will work. You see leaders that are not moving. Them, you see, Ghana cannot advance if our leaders does not advance in thinking. It can. There is nothing that he can. It can't. Because you can't outrun the one who is leading you. You can't outrun them. So how can we sharpen the mind? Quickly, number one, recognize you have a miracle brain through redemption. Recognize it. That you have now received a new brain. Fresh. Not a broken hearted whatever brain. A fresh brain. Not a brain that is not working. You have received a new brain. Miraculous. Through the redemption package. Understand. Everything that was dead. By your connection to Christ and coming into Christ, that thing has received life. John chapter 3 verse 31. With this notion, you come to understand that. He said, he that is born of God, overcometh the world. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is what? Above all. So recognize your nature that you are from above. You are in the same image as God. And therefore, there can't be any subject that is far beyond your mind. Just as some people say, hey, hey, this subject, hey, 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 there is no subject that is above you. You are above all subject because why? He that is from above is above all. You can conquer. I didn't, I didn't cut this secret early. Because he must wouldn't have conquered me. If I knew, actually, 
We run from the thing like we have seen devil, devil, kakai. And some of you, that is what you are facing. But after today, you have overcome it. I said whatever subject, topic that seems so heavy for you, I see you overcoming it, overcoming it, overcoming it, overcoming it. That same way, if you are here, you are doing any business, you have a contract ahead of you. That contract is not bigger than you. I said that contract is not bigger than you. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. You are believing God for something. If your mind can conceive it, it shall be your possession. Therefore, there will be nothing bigger, greater, above your mind. Today, receive it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Philippians chapter 4 verse 30. He said, with God, all things are possible. So you must work with this mentality. All things are possible. Work with this mentality. Number two, meditate how to sharpen the mind. Be thinking all the time through things. I'm not saying think through anxiety and whatever. But let the mind be working. Sometimes sit down, assess things, think through. It's not every day mommy, mommy. It's not every day daddy, daddy. It's not every day boyfriend, boyfriend. It's not every day wife, wife. Sometimes also allow the brain to work. Let the mind work. When the mind begins to work, something will work for you. Many minds are not working. It's on hibernation. It's not working. It's just sleeping like that. The moment they see something, they go, hey, then it was full. I keep telling people in this house, marry a brain that is working. Don't marry body. Body will depreciate. The mind can grow. It can increase. But body, today is there, tomorrow is there. Tomorrow is here. Today is not there. Marry the mind. Push your bar. The first thing you should be attracted to. Man, are you in the house? That is one of the reasons why God is interested in your academics. For the mind to be sharpened. When you meet a woman, anybody, business, whatever in any field, be attracted to the mind. How the person thinks and possesses things. Else you marry wrongly. The witness, the witness is in the house. You have not been there before, so some of these things you can't relate to it. But somebody is confessing it. <laughs> Use your miracle brain to think through issues. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. He said, Come, let us reason together. So God created the mind that it will reason, it will think, it will meditate. It's not to be left ajar. The mind must be thinking. Sometimes, work through things, position things. You see, thinking to bring out something is a work. That is why many people will not do it. That is why in our country, we have many salary workers. They just want to sit at the end of them. No, 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 no. They don't want it. Something must come out of the brain. Glory be to God. Why am I saying Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20? Why the mind must be thinking it must be put to work is that God does not only answer our prayers. He also answers our thoughts. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ought ask or think. So he's able to do the things we ask and the things we think. Let the mind be taken. Glory be to God. The next thing, feed your mind with God's word every day. Feed your mind with God's word every day, all the time. Feed on God's word. Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. Meditate, feed your mind with God's word. Colossians 3, 16. It says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonition one another in psalm and in hymns and in spiritual song, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Let the mind have something to be fed with. That is the word of God. Number two, be an addict reader. Love reading. Love reading. Love reading. Be addict reader. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 30. Love reading. Love reading. Why? Because reading improves your comprehension. It said, till I come, give attention to what? Till I can give attention to what? How many people are readers in this house? Love reading to exhortation and to doctrine. Love reading. 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 30. 
2 Timothy 4 30. 2 Timothy 4 30. Say, bring the clock that I left. Give it to me in TPT. Let somebody see something here. And let's see how many people you have makeup bag. You don't have books. Bag books. Look at something here. Somebody will follow here. He said, when you come, please bring the what? Leather book bag. Let me see your leather book bag here. How many people have even brought your diary and your pen? Lift it. Let me see your diary and your pen. Lift it and let me see. But you have, it means that you're not going anywhere. He said, when you come, please bring the leather book bag along with the books I left where? With couples, especially the parchment scrolls. It means that something has been read at it. Somebody was coming to this church and the person told him that this church there, if you are coming and you don't have diarrhea, don't go. Get your diary and pen. So by four, the person went to buy diary and pen. When they closed from church, said it's by force. The guy left to Accra. The diary is still in my class. I'm sorry. Fresh, brand new. He just wrote two things in the diary. It's left in the mirror. I said, how can such a person progress in life? Love reading. Love reading. Those times when we were, we were in God into it. At one time I was there, a lady entered the worship. I said, what are you doing here? He said, I said, you can't read. You didn't see the thing. You have an accident one of these days because you, you don't love reading all. If I hadn't even been that, you met an angel in the washroom and you have met any of these uh, angel of death. Can you could have seen what will happen to you? <laughs> Love reading. Tell somebody, have a book back. Tell the person, tell the person. And get a, a, a library, a library in your, do a small library in your house. There's something that is bothering your mind. Is it reading? Is it reading? Just recently, one of these days, one of the fattest honorarium I received. I think I was sharing the school of ministry people. One of the fattest manager honorarium I've received in my ministry. <laughs> Why? I bought one book from Talent Bookshop. I bought it twenty. I hear, I hear. It's okay. I went to a bookshop, challenge bookshop. What the book? 20 cities. 20 cities. I said that day I was with you. I was with Yehuda. I got to the pulpit like somebody that has arrived from somewhere. Because why? I've got some secret day in the book. The people were to volunteer, chanting everywhere. As if I'm the one that has propounded the thing. I've read it in the book. I'm pouring it to them like that. Listen, there is nothing wrong with copying. I've told you. <laughs> and listen, there is nothing wrong with copying. Hey, there is nothing wrong with copying. Even Bible school, we did it. There is nothing wrong. As a man of God, I don't have to lie. Bible school, we did it. All the the men of God that are watching, they all went through. They went through. They did it. They did it. But understand, I've taught you integrity in this house. I don't, I, I, I don't have any problem if you do it and you are not caught. But if you are caught, they are. it's not something I'm teaching in this house. <laughs> integrity versus copying. Then we will see. Hey! Bible school. A man of God, I didn't know he has a log hands like that. Where I was sitting. I say. <laughs> I was fresh. First year in this. I said, hey. I said, oh, he's done, he's done. He's done, he's done. <laughs> then I said, second year, oh. He said, when you go to Rome, you do what the Roman do. I can tap from here, tap from here. Ah, what do you say, man of God? Why Jack you better drop? You see, move. <laughs> We are all going together. We are graduating together. What is your problem? I bought the book 20 cities. Pour it to them. 20 cities. What came out of it? I cannot share it here with you. Else you might think I'm rich. I'm not rich. That is what I used to bought this keyboard. 20 cities. 
When I'm feeling the people, hey, man of God, hey, young boy, he doesn't, he doesn't match up the things he's saying. Look at his, I, I, I am the man. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. It's the doing of the Lord. It is Mamluks in our side. Everything we attributed to God. <laughs> hey! Love reading. Love reading. Love reading. Where your mind stops is where your learning stops. The day you stop learning, you start dying. The day you stop learning, you start dying. Be a reader. Be a reader. Be a, anytime you are reading books, you are just exposing your small mind to that great mind that you are reading the book with. Anytime. Anytime. Because what? Iron sharpened iron. You can't be a leader if you are not a reader. Every leader must be a reader. Every leader must be a leader. That was one of Daniel's secrets. Daniel 9 2. He said, and Daniel understood by the books. He understood by the books. So Henry Ford, the inventor of the Ford vehicles, once said, anyone who stops learning, whether at the age of 20 or 80, is old. And anyone who continues to learn is young. Albert Einstein also said, once you stop learning, you start dying. You must be a reader. Right from here, buy them. Get, get me the, the book. What, this one. Everyone, every student here, buy some. It's good. It's a book written by me. Good. And there is one here. Super, no, no, let me put this one aside and let them buy this one first. Good. Buy this one. Supernatural intelligence and academic miracles. Many academic miracles have been. It is. It was written by our Father Reverend Doctor Kujubu Atendepa. Every student must grab one. It's a way to rob that your small brain with a great brain. What can he say? And touch your shoe. Get books and be reading. It will help you. Glory be to God. Do you know Aunt? Do you know Aunt? You know Aunt Adam. You know Aunt. Any shoe. So right from here, every student, grab one. It will help you. The next thing, how to sharpen the brain. Fellowship with the wise. Don't hang out with idiots. It will affect the way you think. Avoid being the company of fools. You go to a room and people are discussing. Young ladies, people, young men discussing all sorts of things. You can become wise in the company of fools. It has never happened. It has never happened. Proverbs 13, 20. The next thing, feed your mind with the right information. With the right information, feed your mind with the right information. How do I do it? Feed your mind. Colossians 2.8. 2.8, sorry. Colossians 2.8. Feed your mind with the right information. Colossians 2.8. Say, beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit. According to the tradition of men. According to the basic principles of the world. And not according to Christ. So you must feed your mind with the right information. Else you'll be deceived. You'll be deceived. Feed your mind. Avoid feeding your mind with pornography. And all sorts of things. Avoid it. Because anything that passes will happen in time. Whether you like it or not, you just give it time. I give you a fabulous in Biam, a basic physical. I'm telling you. Where I am standing today, I picture it a long time ago. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. So avoid feeding your mind with pornographic material necessities. The last thing, sing and pray in the spirit. Sing and pray in the spirit. Anytime you're about to go and write an exam, you have a contract with somebody, a negotiation with somebody. Don't just jump into the negotiation. You sing small early in the morning before you enter the exam hall. It's not a time to learn. You sing in the Holy Ghost. I'm a Samarani, Sanani, Rasa, 
Then you are singing. Masana, 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 masana. Sa, sa, na, na, ne, ye, ye, ye. Yara, ma, yo, a, a, sa, ya. E, a, ya. Listen, even me, when I'm about to preach, I don't talk to people. I don't talk to people before I preach. Because why? You dispense anointing. How am I going to... <laughs> Mercy bar, Obe mo bo na fa fa fa. Obo fa so too hard. Na na wose e yin e be. Oh masa, wa po ni yin e go. Spend time in prayer, praying in the Holy Ghost, pray, soaking yourself, soaking yourself, praying in the Holy Ghost. Sa sa. Can you have? How many of you have heard of the testimony that the lady was going to write an exams? You see, the Holy Spirit has a role to play. It's one message I will share one of these days to you. He has a role to play in your exams. He's the Spirit that brings remembrance. He remembers you of the things you have studied. He has a major role to play in your exams. He said the Spirit searched. Not some things. So when we are talking about these things, <laughs> what is academic miracle? Hey, listen. You don't know what you are talking about. The spirit searched not something, all things, and not just all things, the deep things. A lady was going to write an exam. The woman, he went to the exams, so the question papers have been given to him. He opened, he realized that all the answers has been taken. He got herself up, he said, sir, please, there are questions, the questions have been answered in the reason. The teacher took the question paper, he looked through. He didn't see anything. He said, go and sit down and write. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. The girl didn't understand. A born again Christian. He doesn't want to cheat. Integrity. Then when he went back, ah, he doesn't open the thing. Still, the thing has been solved. He called another invigilator that was passing by. Sir, sir, please. The one that was standing there said, don't mind her, don't mind her. He also took it, opened the thing. He didn't see anything. He said, go and sit down and write. Eh? God will help. The lady went, all oh, has been answered. I pray for somebody supernaturally. Every question that is too hard for you to be answered. I pray may there be a supernatural intervention. I said may there be a supernatural intervention. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You sing, you pray. So somebody is asking, man of God, with this miracle, how can we walk in it? Academic miracles. How can we encounter one? There are so many miracles. When it comes to academic, there are so many miracles. So many miracles. Hey. Say, don't be dinging out to us here. So many miracles. How to work with God for academic miracle and breakthrough. How? Seek Him first in all your endeavors. Seek Him first. Become an addict lover of God. Matthew 6, 33. Understand your academics does not end here. Academics is also connected to your life after school. Understand? So when God is interested in your academics, then he must be interested in the outcome of when you are done with school. So all these miracles are connected to you here and there. Not only that. Somebody too is working, you are doing this, you are doing that. How can I walk in miracles and breakthrough? Be an added lover of God. Matthew 6, 33. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And oh, did he mention some oh, other things? So why are we talking about academic breakthrough? You don't understand. And it has become so cumbersome for you to understand. Oh, oh, don't set aside your academics from God. Just balance it. Set time for God. And set time for your academics. But don't put your academics ahead of God. Don't put it. Never put your academics ahead of your service. Maintain a balance. A reasonable balance. Understand everything begins with God. And it ends with God. 
So let's understand that God can do everything. Everything. Someone does it. Ah, so I'm going to write this down. I'm going to do this. How does it have to do with this? God is in charge of everything. Job 19. He does everything. Any miracle you can think of. God is an expert in it. God is an expert. Job 19. Job 19. God is an expert in it. He does great things. Finding out. Yes. Just as I don't know if you shared the testimony here. The one that his school fees was miraculously supernaturally paid. Was it part of the testimonies you shared? Someone will not understand how. You can't find it. It's, it's out of findings. It beats logic. Yes, wonders without what? Number. He does so many wonders. We can't count it. We've known God to be when somebody is sick and he healed him. When somebody is going to a that. But when it comes to certain things, we don't believe God for it. But he does wonders that we cannot count it. We cannot name it. And these are one of the wonders he has done. Miracles in academics. Breakthroughs on every side. So what is a miracle? A miracle is an unusual event that defies logic and reason and exits out of the natural realm. Some people think that when we are talking about miracles, we've got a student, we are teaching them about miracles. We are just making them lazy. Listen. It's hard work to even work a miracle. There's nothing hard than working a miracle. Go through scriptures and check it out. Anybody that God worked a miracle, go and ask the woman with the issue of blood. Look at how he, the hard work he went through. So I came here to tell you, if you think that you're going to sit like this, then anything will happen. All the testimonies they share, they had something to do. They, as, as, as you were sleeping Tuesday, somebody was here orchestrating a miracle. So miracles are not cheap. They are not easy. They don't come easy. So it's not something to get people lazy. It's something that God does in the affairs of men when a situation becomes very difficult for men. That is when God steps in. So somebody has been battling with one paper. He has been writing one paper. My own, my own wolf has, it, has been writing one paper. Every time he writes the paper, one subject is missing. But if you're 10 years now, what, how would you call this? Unless a miracle steps in. Or any student who fail exams is not all attributed to the fact that they didn't learn. Sometimes they learn. Ah. It's not that they are lazy. Lazy students who mama is here, he will tell you. Students who study and still become ends up at the bottom. Someone is shaking their head like this. Hey, the Lord will surprise you at it. It's not your fault. You know what I've been to. Pen nine candles. We took coffee. At the point, my hands were shaking like this. Huh? Not literature buyer. One mom said, D something or C something. After all, such a thing. Unless a miracle. There's somebody here, there's something that seems very difficult for you. I see the Lord stepping in. I said, I see the Lord stepping in. The Lord will turn that situation around for your good. If you believe it, shout, I believe it. Glory be to God. So what are some of the kinds of miracles God does? Supernatural access to partial or full scholarship. Supernatural payment of fees. It has happened in this house. Scholarship, it keeps happening all the time. Supernatural admission, which is going to happen. I see 50. Once I was praying, I saw 15 people believing God for admission in calendar. The Lord said it has been answered. Amen. Understand when we talk about this thing, someone doesn't understand. There are millions and billions of people in this world, and thousands contesting, believing God for the same thing. Why is that sometimes happening to this one doesn't happen to this one? That is why you have to believe God for miracle. And I pray for somebody here. Let there be a supernatural admission on your behalf. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Supernatural release of withheld exams results. I'm talking about the miracles the Lord is about to, as we rise and thank him for it. The miracles that are about to take place. These are the miracles of supernatural intelligence. There is somebody here, your brain is not working, your mind is not working. But there is going to be a supernatural contraction in the brain right now. That you see there is something is shaking in the brain. The Lord is working a miracle in your life right now. Supernatural understanding. Supernatural change of results. Ah, my results was at 0 
but by supernatural intervention, it has jumped from three points. Hey, we have been into school, and there, there are lectures here they will tell you. There is no way your GPA can change at final year. Sanity, they only start in it. second year. I'm not here to disappoint you, but miracle is available. Sa me pimsu pimsu biya. Na me chemo pimsu. Me pimsu se ya. That is why at this point, you know, you have to take the study serious. That is why at this point, and at this point, you'll be exposed to many things, many unnecessary things. By the time you realize the enemy has taken advantage of you, but not anyone here under the sound of my voice. Supernatural deliverance from the curse of stagnation. Curse of stagnation. One people he keeps writing it over, 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 and over. But the Lord is going to step in and change things on your behalf. The next miracle, supernatural release of answers. Just as you sit there, no, the Lord will tell you, the Spirit will speak to you. My daughter, you have steady. But the C is not the answer. Go to the D. Mm, Mano, try. It's based on what you have studied. He comes in to remember you of the things you have studied. But whichever way the Lord will do it, may he do it on your behalf. Amen. The next thing, supernatural help. God would, many of you are struggling in many areas of your life. Addiction is not helping you to study. Instead of study, you are just in one corner, masturbating, smoking weed, sort of things. Instead of you to study, you are taking a flight to Accra to meet your sugar daddy. All sort of things. You need the help of God. To intervene. Many people are done with school. They are still in the house. 15 years, 5 years, 6 years. They are not getting job. But there will be a supernatural help. I said that we rise on our feet to thank God. Any miracle you thank him. I said may it be your portion. I said may it be your portion. I said may it be your portion. Can you be on your feet? Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Open up your mouth. All the miracles I've mentioned. If you are believing God for one, thank him for it. Thank him for it. Thank him for it. Thank him for it. Mothers here, siblings here. For his miracle power. In the affairs of your words, your kids, your children, the Lord should intervene. The Lord should intervene. The Lord should intervene. The Lord should intervene. There is somebody here, you are doing business. You are doing business. The Lord should grant you supernatural intelligence. Where your mind stops is where your business will stop. Your business cannot outgrow the capabilities of your mind. Pray to God. Supernatural intelligence. Supernatural admission. Yes, thank Him for it. As you thank Him, it has been released. Supernatural scholarships. As you thank him, it has been released. What an atmosphere. My God. Something is being released. Something is being released. Something is being released. Supernaturally. The Lord is renewing somebody's mind. You are receiving a fresh mind. A fresh prey. My God. Shaliza Brados. Just thank him for it. Just thank him for it. Me Just thank you. Just thank you for it. Just thank you for it. Just thank you for it. In the space of 30 seconds. Just thank you for a miracle. A miracle. A mind blowing miracle. Just thank you. Just thank you. Just thank you. Oh, there is something. Just thank you.
listen to me, the Holy Spirit just whispered to me. Now, if somebody here, you are not a student, but understand this. Something must start with your mind that thousands will feed up. Billions will feed up. Everything we see in this world, it came out as an idea from somebody's mind. And that person is a billionaire. A mortal billionaire now. As your hands are lifted, whether a student, whether a worker, whoever you are, I pray, let there be a new mind. Daniel was not a student, but because of intellectual abilities, Bible said he was put in a position that separated him from his companions and his friends. I don't know what you do. People come to you, they just run away from you. You don't understand. It's by the reason of how your mind works. Your mind is damaged. Your mind is destroyed. It doesn't produce good things. But with these hands lifted, I pray may the Lord perfect a miracle in your Amen. life. May the Lord perfect a miracle in your life. Amen. May something great drop in your mind now. Amen. Let a miracle drop in your life now. Amen. I pray for somebody here, supernatural intelligence. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Supernatural admission. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Supernatural scholarship. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Whatever miracle you are believing God for, I pray may it drop now. Amen. 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 Shout, I receive it three times. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I decree and I declare with your hands lifted. Whatever you are believing God for. Whatever expectation you came here with this morning. It has been granted. Amen. I said it has been granted. Amen. I said it has been answered. Amen. By the supernatural power of God. Amen. It has been granted. Amen. I said it has been answered. Amen. Somebody will come with a testimony. Amen. I see you coming with a testimony. Amen. I see you coming with a testimony. Amen. Hey, an idea is dropping now. Amen. An idea is dropping now. Amen. An idea is somebody's brain has been restarted. Amen. There is a fresh brand new pray. Amen. A miracle pray. Amen. That has been released. Take it now. I receive Take it. Take it too. I receive Take it. Take it three. I receive it. I receive it. Miracles. Finally, the Lord said, declare miracle money breakthrough on every side. Hands lifted. Students that are struggling financially, I pray for you. Let doors be open. That there will be a flow, will be a flow of financial support. Amen. There is a lady at the back. Take it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it. May the Lord send help us. Help us. Amen. Help us. Help us. Help us. Amen. You are also here. You are a worker. You need financial assistance and support. With your hands lifted, I pray may the Lord come through. Amen. May the Lord come through. Amen. May the Lord come through. Amen. Let there be a supernatural intervention. Amen. Let there be a supernatural hell. Amen. Somebody shout, I receive it. I receive it. And give the Lord a sh <laughs> Give the Lord a mighty shout. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey.
receive emails of admission. Amen. Emails of admission. Amen. Emails of And listen, there is somebody here, your business has stopped. It has stopped. But the Lord is giving you a new idea for the business to move on again. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I give you 24 hours. There will be an influx of testimony. Hey! There will be an influx of testimony. Amen. I said there will be an influx of testimony. Amen. Amen. He has done for me. 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 What my mama could not do. What my papa could not do.
don't hesitate. They give their testimony or there's a testimony that's down there. If the Lord gives you a testimony, maybe today happens to be your first time, anybody that invited you, kindly let the person help you with the testimony. Amen and amen. amen. All these things that we are doing is not to the glory of any man, but it proves that God is indeed alive. And whatever man is doing, God is interested in it. Anything you are doing, God is interested in it. If God is not interested, he won't step in their face. Look at the testimony that people were sharing. They were just sitting there. They have, it's something they have not seen before. But as soon as they believe it, they were ready to buy into that miracle. You are next in line to share your testimony. Amen, amen and amen. Can you pick your offering, seed offering? Can you pick your seed offering? Every seed offering, as we give to the Lord, May the Lord give it back to you in a measure you can count. Father, bless your people. Favor them. Increase them on every side. As they are giving, may they harvest it in 30 folds, in 60 folds, and in 100 folds. And may their lives never be the same again. Amen and amen. We call it done. So you pass the offering basket around. Then we give our offering. Would you walk and help us? Because of the time, get one, somebody to take it from the back row.
as they have identified a seed, let every need in your life be catered for. May they never lack nor be in want. Supply all their needs according to your riches in glory. I call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. It is done. Powerful. Amen and amen. Quickly, um, Minister Riafi and the wife will come. Hey, did I use the right, right word? <laughs> Beloved, sorry. Uh huh. Minister Riafi, now make a wrong case a giant sir. Oh, put your hands together for them, even as they are coming. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. I have. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> we thank God for uh, one of the things the Lord is doing in this house. And we keep saying it's marvelous in our sight. By the grace of God, God has made it possible for them to be joined together, God willing, on 27th of this month. Um, it is happening at Odium. Um, the railway line, that side. But the location will be shared. So when the time is up, we will all get to know it. And we will all go and support them. But until then, keep supporting them with your prayers and all that. Just as we are, we are, we are showing them to the church. If you have any issue, you don't understand. Maybe um, Thursday, this... Listen, now is the right time. That is why we have showed them from um, last week. And uh, today is the last day. Today, if you don't have anything to say, that is all. Okay, so come and see me in my office and see it. Amen and amen. So that is that. So God willing, on 27th, is going to be an awesome time and a great time. Amen and amen. So let's put our hands together for them, even as they have their seat. Oh, put your hands together for them. Good. So God within 27, we are all going to support. And this is a spring music um, wedding. Yeah. Uh, then right after there are many, many, many weddings we follow for them. Amen and amen. Uh -huh. Good. God willing, God willing, Tuesday happens to be our miracle and communion service. Every Tuesday is our ritual night. Don't exempt yourself. Exactly 6 p.m. and close at 7.30. This Tuesday is going to be awesome. Kindly be part. Many testimonies are recorded and all that. And the Lord will surely bless you. Amen and amen. So please, um, after the second service, um, church leaders, I mean heads, leaders, are supposed to wait. Amen and amen. Powerful. That is that. Then God willing, in the evening, 7 p.m. Is it 7 p.m. on Zoom? Um, I'm praying with all mothers in the house. The children's ministry. We have prayer session for the kids, and every Sunday evening, 7 p.m. It happens on Zoom, so all mothers must be part. Amen and amen. Mothers, now is the time you have to invest in your words by giving them prayer. Everything we give to them, it can perish. But prayers, it doesn't go with them. One time, just last week, we, we met. Uh, uh, a mother and uh, the, this thing, the father were chopping love. And it's not the time to chop love. It's just 30 minutes they are praying for. But half an hour, we will be the door at the end. So. Eh? Uh -huh. so, when it gets to that time, leave everything you are doing. When you are cooking, stop. Carry the babies in your hands or hold them. It's also another way to teach them how to pray. Amen and amen. Good. That is that. 
then God will in Saturday we embark on our soul winning uh, mandate exactly 10 a.m. Be part of it. It comes with a great reward. Amen and amen. And your life will never be the same again. You are far behind time. Please, how many people are visiting us for the first time? Just give me a wave. Today happens to be a first time. Powerful. Please, right from here, I'm meeting all first timers. Briefly, right from here, I'm meeting all first timers. Don't be in a hurry to go. Amen and amen. Powerful. Let's kindly be on our feet and let us close. The book is here, Supernatural Intelligence and Academic Miracles. Anybody that wants one should see mama for one. Anybody that wants one. It's 35 cities. Good. Anyone that wants one. So, all students get it. The church is paying five cities off it for you. So, it's 30. Get it. It will help you. Amen and amen. It's not only for students. They can't show. Toby. Ni baby or what? Toby. I don't know what to be at Toby. Good. That is that. Amen and amen. Ah, it's a powerful movie. It will help you. Can you lift our hands above your head? Father, we thank you and we bless you. Just thank the Lord for what he has done. The miracles he has released. Testimonies that are flooding in this house. Just thank him. Just thank him. Open up your mouth and thank him and bless him. And glorify him for such an awesome thing he has done in the midst of his people. We bless you, Lord. And we thank you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Lift your hands. Father, bless your people. Favor them this week. Amen. Let testimonies accompany their life. Amen. Let signs and wonders come out of their life. Amen. I pray specifically for all students here. Amen. This time will be one of their best ever exams. Amen. With the best ever results. Amen. I pray for everyone that came here this morning. As they are going back, they are going back with a testimony. Amen. I said they are going back with a testimony. Amen. Give them sporadic miracles, Amen. unprecedented testimonies Amen. on every side. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call it done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Shall we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. So we are far behind time. We'll quickly make way for the second service. Okay, so foundation school, right from here, foundation school is meeting on my left. Right from here, foundation school is meeting on my left. Shake 